Hey guys and welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a little Essence haul slash review. I recently saw Andrea and Kelly's video. They did sort of the best of Essence and I purchased what I could from their list. So I'm going to leave their channel links down below and also their Essence video down below as well because they really helped out. I personally haven't tried Essence before, before I got these products. So it's my first time to the brand. But anyway, I purchased seven products myself. Six out of the seven products are actually from Andrea's or Kelly's list. Um, and I trust their opinion, but I wanted to try them out for myself. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I first want to start off with the non makeup item first and that is a nail polish. This is their Shine Last and Go Gel Nail Polish. I got it in the shade 51 Light It Up. I feel like this being $3 in New Zealand is literally such a gem. Like you can tell this to any Kiwis. If there's any fellow Kiwi watches here, like OPI in New Zealand is like $26 I think now. I don't even know. Maybe it could be $30. I haven't bought OPI in a very long time but it's really really expensive so the fact that this is literally $3.60 it's a steal and it's also the color that I'm wearing right now. I've been testing this out probably for the past two weeks and I love it. Considering that I'm not wearing a base coat or a top coat and I do the dishes without any gloves, the fact that I only have a little bit of chipping Probably on these two fingers, you can probably see the most chipping, says a lot. I'm on my probably fifth day and usually nail polishes chip on me pretty quickly, but this one actually works really great. I feel like it lasts on the nails for a really long time. If I was to use a base coat and a top coat, which they do have and I want to purchase next, um, I feel like it will last a lot longer. If I did the dishes with gloves on, then obviously they will last a lot longer as well. Considering all of that, I feel like this is a really, really great nail polish, $3.60 amazing amazing value every time i do my own nails at home like i always get smudges i always wipe a little bit off because nail polish takes forever to dry but i feel like this one dries pretty quick and i just really like it i want to purchase more shades but now let's dive into the makeup products i'm gonna go in order in the way i do my makeup so the first product that i have is the all about matte fixing compact powder and this is a product that andrea recommended this is pretty much just like a translucent pressed powder so i think it's great for someone that wants to mattify the foundation without adding extra coverage like if you were to use a press powder which is what I typically use and I think it's a nice product to put in your bag on the go um, you can bring a brush with you or a sponge to touch up I personally don't bring makeup with me throughout the day to touch up I just go as I am as long as I bring a lip balm then I'm good it doesn't look cakey it doesn't bunch up I do have a couple of dry patches especially on my nose I don't feel like it emphasizes any texture so I'm really impressed with this one as well and the next product I have is the make me brow eyebrow gel mascara that has filling fibers for me personally I don't use brow gel because my eyebrows are really sparse and when I use brow gel I feel like it weighs down my eyebrows and it does the opposite effect that my my brows are not sticking up they actually go down and where I draw my brows you can see like hair sticking down which is not you know ideal a brow gel is supposed to keep your brows up I know soap brow is really popular but I just like didn't use brow gel I feel like it's not really necessary my brows are really really sparse when I have no makeup on you guys see me it looks like I have no brows at all but I wanted to give this one a try it has fibers in it and I didn't know what fibers like were and what it does so I googled it and in case you guys don't know as well because I feel like like it's not really such a you know well-known thing in my opinion so on Google pretty much you know you can get lash fibers um, like on mascaras it's synthetic fibers that attach to lashes or to your brow hair elongating your natural hairs and bulking up the spaces in between for volume so I feel like this product will work better on someone that already has a fuller brow and you just want an extra oomph but for someone like me that has extremely sparse brows and the way I fill in my brows I don't really see too much of a difference like it doesn't look any fuller on one side and then the other but I think it does do a good job of holding up my brows this doesn't weigh down my brows considering that it's only like six dollars I don't mind it I'm gonna keep using it I'm actually gonna add this into my project pan um, it's not a product that I probably would repurchase because I don't think I really need it but I can really see this on someone that has like more fluffier brows and you just want to comb it out as some volume to that and like texture but for someone like me and the way I feel on my brows it's not really a product that I really really need and next up I have the Lash Princess mascara and Andrea and Kelly both raved about this mascara they have a couple of different ones but I just got like the original 
green packaging one. For me, mascara is a makeup product that I personally don't get excited about. I am a person that doesn't have a lot of hair, so like I have no hair on my arms no hair on my legs like I don't I've never shaved my legs before I really am a naked mole rat so that's why my brow hairs are very sparse and light as well as my lashes well my mom cut my lashes when I was young because there's like this Asian superstition superstition um, that if you cut your baby's uh, eyelashes when they're young it'll grow back longer when they're older uh, and that didn't happen my lashes are really short still and very sparse. So mascara to me is not like a product that I really, you know, I don't really care for. And typically with like drugstore mascaras, I've tried a couple from Wet n Wild, a couple like more affordable ones. I really didn't like them because of the wand. Like for mascaras, the formula matters, but I think what matters more is the wand. And a lot of the drugstore wands are plastic and I don't like that. I feel like it doesn't coat my lashes well enough. So when I got this, I was like, oh, I don't know. But Andrea and Kelly both recommended it. So I'm like, okay, it has to be good then. And after trying this out, I was like, wow. I really like this and I don't think I'm gonna buy any other mascara well I shouldn't say that because I probably will test out other mascaras but you know the mascaras that I'm using right now is like from Fenty Beauty I like the Too Faced one those are like in the $30 range so having this mascara that's about like six seven dollars this is so much more affordable we go through mascara so quickly as well because they tend to dry out quicker so I'm just gonna probably keep repurchasing this one because it works so well I think the wand is really really great because when I first applied this I just felt like the wand like really coated my lashes like it was hugging my lashes almost it was such a strange experience it does give the length and it does give a bit of like thickness to my sparse lashes I really like how it looks on my bottom lashes I'm not wearing any falsies today because I really just wanted to show you the makeup and how it looks so I'm currently wearing it I mean I don't really have the best lashes to you know give the hype to this mascara but I'm sure a lot of you guys know this mascara and love this mascara because it sounds like it's one of Essence like best sellers and next up I have their Sun Club matte bronzing powder um, the shade is for lighter skin so 01 natural in Andrea and Kelly's video they were recommending a palette like a bronzer palette but we don't have that in New Zealand surprise surprise but I think it's like the same Sun Club line but their one is just in a palette this one is separate I did the mistake of getting the wrong shade I thought this one actually would be a nice bronzer on me but it is a little bit too light so what I did with this I actually use this as my transition shadow today and I've been using it as my transition shadow for a couple of looks I actually used it in my last look the black pink Lisa ice cream inspired makeup look I used that as my transition shadow I used it just in my day-to-day -day life as a transition shadow because I think for as a bronzer I do have it on my cheeks right now I think it's a little bit too light to be considered a bronzer before I look like this that's more on the natural side I think it works um, but I definitely probably would have went like a shade dark Darker. We only have two shades in New Zealand, so um, I didn't have many options. I'll leave the link where I get my essence and you guys can have a look at my options. But because this is too light, I feel like I couldn't really test it out to its full potential. But from what I could, using it as an eyeshadow and as a very light bronzer, I think it blends out well. I love the big pan. I will say there is a little bit of a fragrance in there. Um, so if you are extremely sensitive, you might just want to have that in mind if you're putting that onto your skin. And then I have the blush. I got the shade number 20 bespoke I believe this is another popular product on me I feel like this is a little bit too dark and it does have a satin sheen to it and I feel like it's a little bit too satin for me because where I apply my blush I apply it right here and I feel like you know over here is where you have a lot of pores as well it sort of enhances that a little bit I feel like I have other pressed blushes that I like a little bit more I probably would have liked this much more if it it wasn't a satin and if it was a matte blush because um, I do think the shade is nice but maybe if I was a little bit more tan then it would work nicer on me so if you have like a light to medium or medium skin tone this would be a really pretty blush and the last product that I picked up is their plumping nudes lip gloss I got mine in the shade 04 that's big and this is a plumping gloss so it's going to have that minty sort of I wouldn't say stinging because this one doesn't sting but you know when you use like plumping glosses it has that like stinging effect this one is very very 
mild. I think if you have sensitive lips, I have sensitive lips. This one is very manageable. It just feels very fresh and minty on the lips. It's nothing too intense and strong. I don't know about the plumping aspect. I feel like if you wear gloss in general, it already makes your lips look more plump because it's very like pouty and juicy. But as a gloss formulation for me, this is on the thicker side. It does goop up a little bit, especially like in the inner rim of your lips. So you're gonna have to like clean that up after you apply it. So it's on the thicker side, which I don't really like. I like more of like a thinner consistency when it comes to a gloss, but I think it's really pretty. It's an opaque gloss that has little specks of glitters in it. But overall, it is a really nice gloss. It's not too sticky, but I think if you like already don't like glosses and you probably wouldn't enjoy this one, there are like different different types of glosses that someone that doesn't like typically enjoy glosses can like. I feel like this one is like you have to be a gloss lover to like this type of gloss. Alright you guys so those were all the products that I picked up from Essence. Let me know down below if there's any other products that you guys would like me to try out from Essence from what I can. Um, if you guys want to go on the site where I get my Essence products in New Zealand you can see our selection. Is there any other products that I'm missing out on? I feel like from Andrea's and Kelly's list I got everything that I could that we have in New Zealand everything else like we don't have but let me know your favorites like maybe there's something else that I could try out from Essence and I definitely could do a part two but I feel like I literally got the best of the best from what we have in New Zealand so far hopefully that changes in the future hopefully you know Essence will roll out more of their newer releases and new products so we can try it out because we exist down here okay but anyway if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up it helps me out so much and it just helps with the algorithm and gets my video out to more people so give it a thumbs up if you guys found this review helpful and enjoyable to watch but that is going to complete today's video you guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye